Good morning. Ready on the set? Ready on the set? I look like a candy cane. I kind of love it. It's um, it's uh, even though it's August here in Orlando, it's it's Halloween time. It is. The uh, the Mickey's not so scary. Yes, they party. started on Friday this yeah. week, um, and it's Sunday. So speaking of not so scary. I won't say it yet, but the thumbnail gives it away. There's some huge news. Huge. Yay, D23. Yes. At okay. Anaheim. Um, we were up late last night. We were up till like 1.30? Yeah. 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 we were taking That's some notes. That's late for us. Yeah, I don't think it ran until 1.30 for us. We took some notes afterwards. I think, it, I think it was almost right at 1 that it ended. Yeah. Um, I will say I feel like I have a D23 hangover, even though <laughs> it's just because we don't stay stay up past like 10 30. Yeah <laughs> and uh you know for the for the people in the hall for the Center, love of Disney. <laughs> it started at seven o'clock their time. Um yeah so it was seven o'clock their time, ten o'clock eastern time. The, the packed twelve thousand um, people in the uh, Honda Center in Anaheim. And guys that was a rough sh start at least. Um there was a lot going on. I mean a little a little news with your concert. We <laughs> we're all here for the news and I feel like we got I I'm not complaining like the, the performances were great, but that's not what I tuned in for. It was so. primarily a show about performances mm -hmm. and then with news sprinkled in between like Yeah. You know, uh uh who they have on there, like the plain white tees. They had Megan Trainer, right? They and had they Rita had Ora. Pentonics, is that Pentonics, yeah. I yeah. think they were like an AGT. I don't forgive me if I'm wrong, but And, and I'm think... sure in person they were spectacular, but like it was okay, but we that's not why we were the there. To be fair, also, this wasn't broadcast, like, widely. To, like, it wasn't put on by Disney. We found uh, live streams of somebody. Yeah. Somebody had set up a camera, and um, that's how we saw it. Which is a little disappointing to me, because I remember two years ago Funny, watching yeah. it. Yeah. Like, I also remember watching it in the morning here. So, I don't know, honestly, maybe it was a nighttime thing that I watched the next morning, but it was by, I, I'm pretty sure it was Disney Parks that had put it up. So, um, I'm a little, I mean, maybe Disney Parks will put it up today. I don't know, but. Um, stream it, guys. Just stream, stream it. it. Stream they were, it. They were putting the updates on their, on their social media channels as they came. And they streamed it in Fortnite. I'm 40 years old. Yeah, they I that's right. They fit, yeah, like a million people. On, <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll get to that in a minute. Yes. Well, let's let's dive in. Let's not let's not make the same mistake of the show, and, and talk about fluff. Let's dive in, man. Let's go. Let's get into the exciting news. It, it's like we do with our room reviews. We go straight to the view and the balcony. We show you the good stuff. So let's start. We don't start here. Let's start here. And okay. Disney World. So we're gonna start with Disney World. All, Break it. All four of our parks. No, our, that's true, all four. All four yeah. of our parks are getting something. Let's like, start with the big reveal. The biggest reveal that I think I'm the most excited about is oh, this one of your... Uh, this yeah, is what okay. people are talking about. Okay. We're getting a villain's land. Yeah. Um, the I'm, last thing they announced at the show. It was. First thing you're hearing here. Yes. <laughs> um, um, we're not going to make you wait. Um, details were scant on Villains Land. They were. So um, uh, we we talked about this. We're going to put this on both of our... Uh, we're going to put it on Facebook and on Instagram. You can go take a look. I, if you haven't seen them already, we'll put them up. Um, visit the Magical McDee's on your choice of platforms. Yeah, Facebook um, and Instagram. Just to see these photos, but I'll, I'm, I'm gonna give you a, a quick, quick little look at it, and then we will move on. Um, so for Villains Land, I don't know how well it will translate, but here it is. Oh yeah, that's not bad. So it's not terrible. Yeah, that's um, okay. And that's all they showed. This is exciting, but yes, uh, I, I am a little nervous about this being all the information. So Josh said that it will be two attractions. Two major attractions. It, two, yeah, okay, major two, two major so attractions. Two ticket rides. Two major attractions and shopping and dining. Yeah, not, this isn't like um, a Dumbo or a carousel situation. What I do want to point out, because I probably won't like, you know, like point on it. Let's see if it works here though. So here, this over here, that looks like a coaster to me. So I don't know, but maybe a coaster. We've got the we've got the dragon right here, yeah. and then 
There's a, um, a castle. There's a castle. We, and I think we all know what castle that is. Um, these look like the um, like the scary part of Lion King, right? Like when they're like the where the there. hyenas are. The star and, hangs out. Yeah, so yeah. that's what that looks like to me. But there's also water. There's also, I mean, like, look at that water. Because um, you mentioned Ursula a few times. He did. Uh, okay, well, so I think he said poor unfortunate souls. Sure. And um, he he didn't mention it, but when Disney Parks actually put it up, like, within a minute or two of the announcement, their little clip like with all the villains that were in it, uh, Ursula shows up several times. It basically felt like the the footage from or the motif from Fantasmic, where the the uh, it did yeah where, with Chernabog yeah and, and all the villains and they're playing the same music from Fantasmic yeah and I mean and they're battling I, Mickey. I remember seeing Gaston in it. I remember seeing um, the evil step. Mother, I saw Scar, Scar Hades. 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 Yeah, yeah, it's a who's who. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. so it's oh, two, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's got so two major. Now they didn't confirm this, but we suspect because this is part of the. We think this is part of the Beyond Thunder Mountain project. So our guess, and again, this is speculation, but I think it's pretty educated, is that the villains' land is going to go behind the haunted mansion in the Magic Kingdom. We hope that it connects back there. Yeah, like because the um, theming's already kind of basically a place of the haunted mansion i feel like it would flow nicely yeah. to that um i don't I, uh, i'll say that's a criticism of last night there are few like hard this is where it's going yeah like they did not tell us where that was going late okay um but construction to begin next year so let's see what, what did i say uh it did he, they did not speak oh no, no to, timeline on villains no timeline on villains but did they give us a timeline on the other news for magic Kingdom? we have some more so let's let's just keep on walking along okay um the next big piece of news for magic kingdom is uh cars in frontier land yeah so we're thinking this is the beyond thunder mountain information that yeah. we got um they did not use that <laughs> they said a reimagining of a portion of frontier of land. frontier land so that's interesting um there will be two new attractions one for the littlest kids yep and construction starts early next year on that one so we yep. did get at least kind of a groundbreaking of an idea. And the nice thing about start. that is, if it's truly beyond Thunder Mountain, that won't impact park operations. It, it might have. It, but they're going to refurb Thunder Mountain anyways next right. year for for right. like it's eight gonna, months. Yeah, they said it's going to be closed for the better part of the year. So, so, but if they do construction on on this Cars Land, and by the way, the the other attraction, the adult attraction, is uh, basically it looks like an off road version of Radiator Springs in in, in California Adventure. It's uh, big tires. It they um, said it would be an off-road adventure, driving over geysers. Uh, the con there's a lot of several pictures of concept art. Um, and again, this will be on the Instagram and, and Facebook page. It will. Um, but I've got it. I would like because I'm so excited about some of that. Um, the the views of it just look beautiful. Really, like if you see, I love how yeah, that looks cool. it looks like they might be driving across like here a big and there's. Down. Yeah, this looks awesome. Yeah, that's um, neat. there was also a really cool um, kind of mountain in the background. If you're familiar with Cars Land in DCA, um, I one of the really cool features is like going around the bend and seeing like the waterfall. It looks yeah. like we might get something similar to that. Yeah. Um, which I, I I think is awesome. Um, By the way, Cars Land, if you haven't been to California Adventure, is is I think maybe one of the best lands Disney's ever done. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's amazing. Yeah, they, they, they it's, I mean, it out of the park. and it's so funny because we have fo we took our engagement photos partially in there, and anytime I post one of those photos, people think we're in Utah. So. Yeah, it's amazing. Because <laughs> it, I mean, it looks so scenic and gorgeous. So I have to say, when, when this news broke, this was one of the first things they said about Magic Kingdom. This is early, earlier in the show. Uh, they broke this up from the villain's land. But when they announced it, I was initially nonplussed. Uh, but the more I thought about it, the more it made sense to me. Because we they had people have been spitballing, uh, you know, Encanto or Coco or things like Coco, that or New yeah. Orleans land. Uh, but none of that really makes sense thematically with Frontierland. Um, you know, if you look at Big Thunder Mountain, you look at Frontierland, what it is, Cars Land, 
you know, in the American West, it's the perfect way to blend in going back beyond Thunder Mountain, so to speak. Yeah. And again, I suspect speculation here. I suspect that when you get you go beyond Thunder Mountain, they're going to build this Cars Lane, that it will go back and then link up with where Villain's Land is going to go behind Haunted Mansion, and it'll create a new flow of traffic. But again, this is all our speculation yeah, because they sense. didn't show us what that looks like or no. where it is in the park. Yeah. Um, Watch the concept art will come out and it'll be like back by Little Mermaid or something. Oh gosh. <laughs> um, I mean, and to be fair, uh, he it, Josh was very clear that this is Frontierland. Like Cars Land. Cars Land. Cars is, yeah, he did not announce a little And I don't know, are they calling it a Cars Land? I couldn't, I, I don't remember that. No, he so. just it but it is an extension of Frontierland. Yes. So we at least do know that that is there that is in frontier um but in terms of the expansion the magic kingdom overall he did say that this was and i think he was talking about the combined projects the largest single expansion to the magic kingdom in the history of, of, the, of park, the park yeah which is huge because the fantasy land overhaul was was a massive project yep. when they put in seven Dwarfs mine training they put in little mermaid they, they re, redid all that back there right we weren't here for that but no we yeah. weren't here for that but we followed it they took on mr toad <laughs> Aww. Um, okay so the other exciting, less, you know, these are not attractions. Well, I mean, they're they're an attraction for us. The Pirates of the Caribbean Tavern. Finally. The lounge um, at least says it's 2025. Looks like they're going to have some sort of show elements. They're going to do some it singing does. and dancing. Uh, you know, honestly, the, the, sh the art looks like kind of a tiki room to me. I mean, I know it's a tavern, but it, that's, yeah. that's what I feel from it. Works. It works. It's like so. a Caribbean Pirates Bar. Yep, and I'm in. I'm, it, I'm on board. It looks awesome. Um, yeah, take my money. There's, <laughs> um, uh, there was really only one photo, so like take my like sobriety said, for that matter. Um, <laughs> that's exciting. Uh, the uh, and then our last piece of news for Magic Kingdom is we will get a new nighttime parade in summer of 2025. It's called Starlight. Um, I'm excited about it. They mentioned similar to electrical like the main street electrical parade yeah um, it's got vibes yeah those vibes uh and i'm in that's that was one of my mom's favorite parades at, so at uh disney she so, did love that yeah. she did and i love it who doesn't um what park are we going to now that's magic kingdom right yep so let's so what move was along. the next biggest piece of news i i think i know what it was I think I'm going to do this one. Um, yeah, that's exactly what. Okay, so. We've got notes. <laughs> the, ne <laughs> the next biggest piece of news to us that we are the most excited about, Disney's Hollywood Studios is going to get a new Monsters, Inc. land. Yeah. And it's going to have the first ever suspended coaster in a Disney park. Yeah, this is completely fresh information. While we're super excited about Villains Land and and Beyond Thunder Mountain with the Cars Land announcement, that had already kind of been announced, and people had speculated that those things might go in there. So it wasn't 100% new news. It was incredibly welcome. Monsters Land, completely out of left field. I think this was a surprise and delight. Yeah, of no doubt nights. about it. Like, yeah. I mean, and truly, Villains was also a surprise and delight, even though we thought it might happen. I kind of was like, mm, they might not, and they did, but... Back to Monster Inc. Surprise and delight of the night. I think yeah, that Bill, I'm so excited. Billy about brought it. Billy Crystal out. Of course, who voiced uh, what's the character's name? Wazowski. Wazowski. Mike, thank you. Mike he brought Wazowski. him out. He did a little song and dance. He did. He still got it. He should host the Oscars again. And uh, yeah, they showed some concept art for this uh, roller coaster. So uh, they showed concept art for the roller coaster, which I can show you first. It and looks then, awesome. Um, it, it's what we all want. It's the it's the zooming through the doors, right? Like it's Laugh Factory, right? So yeah. this looks awesome. Look at that ride vehicle. This is this is gonna be neat. I can't wait. It definitely looks more teenage and adult oriented. It sounds it more thrilling. It um, sounds way more thrilling. Then again, um, I don't know that it's going to have loops, so we'll see where, where they put it. Because obviously Monsters, Inc. Is, 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 appeals to the little ones, right? Yes, but I, I'm thrilled with this. This is one of my favorite movies. I was a little older, obviously, when this came out, but yeah. it was fantastic. So let's look at the concept art for a second. Again, Facebook and or Instagram. Natural but, movies. <laughs> yes, the magical, the magical McDees. The magical McDees. Okay, so let's look at this. There he is. Um, little, a little concerning where this is in the park. So this looks... Speculation. Yes, but yeah. uh, obviously. Um, so this looks like it might be baseline. 
baseline the tap, tap house, house, which is a right? bar or back, tap room. Kind of close to Muppets Land. Yep. <laughs> and speaking of Muppets Land, um, it looks like this is Muppets, if you're looking like the area, right? So a little concerning. And then over here looks like it might be Star Tours, like about where it is. Yeah. So we have maybe an ish of where this is going in the park. Um, there was no, obviously, uh, they didn't confirm this. <laughs> this is just looking at the artwork yeah. that we're saying this. We, they we, didn't tell us where this was going. As we were the watching park. the news, we, we, our thought was it would make over Mickey's launch bay is, which if you're familiar Star with the Wars. park. Sorry, I'm sorry, Star Wars Launch Bay, that's right. <laughs> Next to Mickey's Runaway Railroad. That's, yes. That was my slip of the tongue. Yeah. Um, it, that still could be a possibility. The artwork does just give some hints that it, it might be. Look, Muppets Land, look, the, the Muppets Land, the, Mupp, the Muppets attraction is a little tired. It doesn't fill up every time. We can't get rid of it. People Rizzo is, is derided Pizza a lot. Pizza Rizzo. Pizza Rizzo, yeah. that's it. Pizza Rizzo is derided a lot by people. Um, uh, I don't want to lose Mama Melrose. We love Mama though... Melrose, but even Mama Melrose gets, gets a lot of hate. Yeah, a lot of people don't like Mama That's Melrose. it. It's a hard. I'm it's not, not saying it's great Italian food, but I'm saying it's, it's still a challenging reservation to get. Yeah, yeah. it's got our favorite yeah. drink too. Yeah, it does. But it, that it would make. I'm fine with it going wherever they want to put it. If if they have to knock out Muppets Land, so be it. Um, but Muppets Land should get some love somewhere else. I don't want it to. Knock out. I mean, I I love the fountain, the Miss Piggy fountain, and it's it's a cool little space and area back there. So it's pretty. Not, nothing to me suggests that it is going away because it's in the artwork, but it could be in the artwork for like wayfinding. Yeah. So I I don't know. It's just speculate that it's just what we're spitballing here. We're spitballing. Um. Okay. So let's move was on. There any other, that was the only Hollywood news now. Yes, yeah. but, but it's big. It's, it's, it's huge. It's huge yeah, yeah, that's a whole land. So, so. let's Magic Kingdom and again. Oh, and that uh, begins. Kingdom. Sorry, timeline for uh, Monsters Inc. Land it, construction starts next year. So yeah. we did get at least an idea of groundbreaking again. Yeah, dirt. Dirt is moving. I think was said a few times by Josh Tomorrow, the yeah. chairman of Disney Parks. Uh, so he wanted to make sure he emphasized throughout the night these are not blue sky projects these are happening shovels are going in, in they the are earth. doing this yeah. these are an active development permits are pulled um i mean heck a dinosaur they've even started they're, they're chopping down trees over there already yep so, and so let's, so let's go so over set there. There. <laughs> that's perfect yep so uh disney's animal kingdom is going to get Again, no surprise. We've this was a blue sky project. It looks almost exactly like what they showed us over it's two years ago. The same ago. concept art for a couple it, of years. Yeah. yeah. So it is going to be. Um, so dinosaur is going to become Indiana Jones. It will be reimagined. They will replace it, and that storyline is going to be an adventure in ancient Mayan temple. Yeah. Um, that sounds exciting. I I'm happy that they're going to do a different. I mean, I didn't think they would do the exact same thing. Yeah. But I'm I'm happy to hear that they didn't that they are for sure changing the storyline. Yeah. It's gonna be different from Disneyland. If you haven't been, what well, will be the same? It'll be the same ride system. If you haven't been to Disneyland in California, the Indiana Jones ride system shares the exact same ride system that Dinosaur has. You're in a jeep. It's hydraulic. It moves. Um, in fact, you know my favorite part of the the attraction in in, in Disneyland is the is the queue. That's like the coolest line I think Disney's it's ever a really done. It's cool interactive. Line. Yeah. It's very neat. But um well maybe so maybe they'll do something like that here. But yeah, it's gonna be a fresh take on the story. Uh, I'm excited. I love Dinosaur the Ride, but I I'm okay with this overhaul. I'm sad to see it go and we will say goodbye to it. What the the thing that I'm sad about is that Dinosaur Land was such a unique like it's not based on IP. It was it Well there was a dinosaur movie. Okay. Yeah, there's a picture. You never saw it? Oh, yeah. No, we did see the yeah. dinosaur movie, but that was when I lived in L.A. with That's you. That's the good dinosaur. Oh, okay. Yeah, there is Fair. another dinosaur Or movie. the little dinosaur. Yeah, okay. Okay. But it, this is not, like, Dino Land was not based on any IP. Like, it was... No, just that, ride, full, that ride was. That, but... the, the, the land was fully... Um, like imagineered yeah. from scratch yeah. and and it's awesome I, the kids love it and i feel like we're losing like disney's not doing that they're doing ip and yeah. it's kind of a bummer to say goodbye to that kind of um 
Imagineering, right? Like yeah. that's so. I mean, I'm excited half, half, about it, half but the I'm also been defunct for a while. And fair, it's like a what? What do we say? It's like a. It's like a. It's like a parking fair, like lot. A state fair, basically. Yeah, it's yeah. like a. It's like a dilapidated parking it's lot. It's hot. That's already a hot park that makes it even hotter. Yep, I agree. Uh, um, the only thing I'm worried about is Marley the alligator. There's like a 15 foot alligator that lives back there. I love Marley. He is cool. I'm worried about Restaurantosaurus making it too. Our, I mean, favorite, our favorite bartenders back there. Yeah, They'll Jimmy, be fine. Jimmy the bartender. Yeah, but He's an I'm, institution. I'm, yes, I'm sure that. I'm sure that there will be another lounger bar somewhere yeah. in in this. He, maybe area. he'll join his wife who works at the the pool bar over at uh, Portland French Quarter. Oh Lunch, yeah, Freshwater. yeah. She's at Grog Grog Grotto or no Grog French Grotto? Quarter, is the, yeah, but it's called. It's called something else. It's not Grog Grotto. That's Trader Sam's. It's something Grog, but so, regardless. Yeah. Pool bar. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, so uh, this area is called Tropical Americas. Yeah. Um, the second attraction that will be back there is Encanto, um, which also looks that. really cool. It, it it belongs there. There's animals in it. Yeah. There's it. I feel like that, that story is set in Colombia, right? I honestly don't. Remember, I haven't seen it. Yeah, I, I did see it, but I, I only saw it the one time. Come and clean. And I did like it. Um, so I'm excited about that. But it's, um, uh, the ride takes you through his house and the furniture comes to life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and it looks and, like that's the ride vehicle. And the, you meet all of the characters within the home throughout the ride. And then it, 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 it and then they it. They didn't show us much about it, though. Like, there's not. I mean, they were talking through kind of hard yeah. to see, like, what the ride vehicle looks like. So we don't really know it how it, it's going to. Work through well, it the goes house. through, and then it culminates in a finale that he's the third floor has been turned into a rainforest. Yeah, so that sounds awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Well, I wonder if it was it third floor or was it coming down. I don't know. I think he said third floor. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, and uh, there's also going to be new dining in this area, and they talked about a carousel. Oh, that the carousel sounds, sounds really cool. cool. Yeah. Um, they said it'll have uh, some of our favorite Disney characters. It sounded like it was like beautiful woodworking didn't it yeah like, like carvings of animals featured yeah. in the park yeah so it, it, so it sounds, sounds great. Awesome. i love a good carousel um, and it looks beautiful too it's not just it's not like a like a like a you know state fair carnival uh carousel it's kind of plopped out in the parking lot like it's grand designed it's got a structure it it's going to be like the gorgeous. one in, at the end of main street basically yeah a nice pretty what is that king carousel. arthur yeah I think that's, yeah that's king arthur's carousel um yes so i it it looks awesome, but let's talk about timeline, guys. This isn't going to debut until 2027. Yeah. And Josh was also very clear to say that it would open all together. So yes. it's not. But the construction they, the itself construction will happen in phased, phases. But so it if will you want to go on Dino Land, you still have some time. Yes. Or di the dinosaur ride. Yeah. And we're going to go say goodbye to it. The other thing we're going to be saying goodbye to <sighs> the Tree of Life attraction. It's tough to be oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Molly, oh, I'm not happy about it either. Molly. Molly's not thrilled with that news. Um, so it's tough to be a bug is now going to be a new Zootopia show. At <laughs> I think she's happy about that. She likes she animals. Is. Yeah. She is, and that will debut next winter. So it's about a year, a couple months away. Yeah. Um, that's surprising to me. I feel like it shouldn't take that long to do a show, but who knows what they're doing on there like inside of it so. so i think we should get a zootopia land in i think we Animal should Kingdom. too that makes so I, much sense it would put it between where avatar is and where kilimanjaro safari is it seems like there's some good spots out there whatever i don't I don't, I don't work for imagineering but i know josh tomorrow watches the channel so josh <laughs> if you're listening we have thoughts yeah. um okay uh i think that takes care so of what's left epcot epcot not and huge news here but i'm i'm Happy news. I mean, to be fair, Epcot's been under construction for the past like six years. Walcott is officially Epcot. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know why it took six years. I don't know why Tron took five. Uh, uh, especially when Universal's making Epic Universe in five years. I don't know why the Cake Bake Shop over at the Boardwalk is taking two. Oh my gosh. I think it's even longer than two for the Cake Bake Shop. I think, did, did Universal steal all the good contractors in Orlando? It has to Cause be. Because their whole theme park's gone up in like two and a half. And Five, we can't we can't but, get a restaurant built in two. Yeah, I I don't know what's going on with yeah. Cake Bake Shop. Actually, what I read about that, as a quick aside, they were saying because it's a third party restaurant, maybe they underestimated what goes into opening yeah. a new. This was not restaurant. part of the D twenty three news. It was not. Right? It was not. 
Anyways, um, so let's what move are we on. Getting? Yeah. The only thing that was announced for Epcot, which we're fine with because Epcot has been under construction yeah, it's for so long. Yeah. Um, oh, they mentioned, well, no, there's one other thing. We'll get to it in a second, but they mentioned one um, other thing. They, uh, it's going to be a new Spaceship Earth lounge. Yeah. So, I, I mean, views of Spaceship Earth. So we don't really know exactly where it is, but the concept art looks really neat. It's, it, it's yeah, a lounge. It, well, we will never turn down a lounge. So, no, it looks very space age, very comfortable. I love a place to luxury. Um, <laughs> and, and not, not that Epcot could, needs it. It's a, the park known for drinking around the world. It's something like to facilitate that. It is. Uh, if you're worried about Epcot getting rid of alcohol, I think this will nix, nix that fear. <laughs> there, the other news, though, they did, and, and again, this isn't new information. They were already, they've already started on that project, but they did share some images of the new test track. Oh, they did. Yes. Yeah. So, and that, that looks that look, that needed an overhaul. It the improvement looks it looks really nice. And that does open in 2025. They did mention that. Yeah. That was the date. So that's Florida. But, yep, that covers Disney World. Where do you want to go next? I'm, we're both surprised that they didn't have any resort inform, like news. Well, but that might be coming but, today. But we don't know if that should have been part of parks or not. Because they're obviously in the on the verge of completing the DVC Tower at Poly. Polynesian, which is an Which is already open for... I'm sure uh, it'll be very nice to let them staying there eventually. I think it right? opens in December of this year. Right. And then and then the there's a lot of speculation that they're gonna resume construction. On permits have been pulled. Yeah, what's called reflections, we don't know if they're gonna keep that name. Basically a lakeside resort D V C the, it doesn't look dissimilar to the wilderness. Yeah, uh, and right next to the wilderness lodge. Between Wilderness Lodge and uh the campground out there. So I'm all for it. We th these resorts are overbooked all the time. Disney could build five new resorts and not miss a beat. It would be nice to have some moderates, though. Yeah, and maybe I think... even another budget hotel. Come mm -hmm. on, guys. Yeah, and let's get back to the Eisner days. We're theming. You know, how about a haunted mansion hotel? How about a Tower of Terror oh hotel? Oh my god, I would love how about an Avatar hotel. Let's love. let's get some. Do you want an Avatar hotel? I saw somebody do some 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 AI generated theming. How about a pirates themed hotel? Pirates would be amazing. I, yeah. I'm sorry. This is here's a hot take. I'm. Yeah. I don't really care about Avatar. <laughs> no, but it's um, not its biggest. <laughs> it's huge. It's a yeah. huge. It's huge IP. Everybody loves it. It is a beautiful land. And let's nice segue. segue. <laughs> um, so we're gonna hit Disneyland. It's completely unintentional. Over <laughs> in California. So the big news there that we have known. They did mention this. They are gonna do an Avatar. Avatar inspired attraction. Uh, yeah, sounds the like it's one. They were careful not to call this a land. Yeah, so I I don't think I mean the renderings again look beautiful. And it they looks do big. look different than what is here in Animal Kingdom. Yeah, um, they did say that it will be inspired by the second and third movies. And beyond, so they know stuff. That um, we know. They've talked the to James second Cameron. movie was water based. Yeah. The third movie they announced is called Fire, Fire and Ash. Ash. Yeah. So that's cool and exciting. Yeah. Um, it looks like a boat ride. That's, it's that's definitely what I wrote down. Yeah. yeah so exactly. and and they um, that was the two kind of things that stuck out to me was uh, the Disneyland Resort news was like very tilted towards Disney California Adventure number one. And number two, they're all in on boats right now. They are. I know. For a state with a drought problem, they're going all in on boats. <laughs> so, because Avatar is going to have a, what was the other one it was looking like? Um. So, the other new attraction is Coco. Coco. Uh, well, I say new, there's more than this. <laughs> but Coco is another new attraction that will be breaking ground in 2026. They did mention that this is going to be more in line with like older original Disney rides, they mentioned like Haunted Mansion, Pirates. Yeah. I mean, but again, it's a boat. Old school so, and the old school, but old school. state of the art animatronics. Yes. Um, he said something specific about like the audio animatronics yeah. of this because Coco has all that awesome music. So, so let's speculate. Where do we think these things are going? I don't know where Coco's going. Well, in DCA. there's two places that have been talked about. One is the the Hollywood backlot where Monsters Inc. is. So I don't know if we're saying goodbye to Monsters Inc. or they've got space. Or do to you build. think that'll be Avatar? Where do you think Avatar? That's will where go? I think where Avatar will go. Okay, okay. And then Coco could go. I mean, would they tear down the winery? 
and put it in the I middle of the not. park. I hope not too. I, hope. I like that winery. With a... Traditorio. Whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't, who knows? Because they've got, there's a lot of backstage it's areas. They could always go cut into a backstage area and tear down warehouses mm -hmm. so that they'll, we'll find out soon enough. Yep, we will. Mm -hmm. um, and then there are two more exciting. Okay, so let's just talk about, we knew the e-ticket Avengers was coming. Oh, it's They right. gave Avengers us a man. name. That's why I'm wearing my Captain um, America hat. <laughs> So they did give us a name for the e-ticket e attraction they have been speculating about. It is Avengers Infinity Defense. Yeah. Um, there is some very cool um, artwork for this. There's very cool renderings. We will put that in our Instagram The story is that Instagram and uh, Facebook, it's, but a, it's in a world where Thanos has won the, if you saw Infinity War and Endgame. The artwork included Thanos, yeah. Hulk. All the characters. Uh, uh, Ant-Man. But the story is yeah. that the idea is that Thanos has won in that universe and the Avengers have got to deploy and basically fix it. I think the multiverse is going to come into play. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of motion simulator, simulator kind of base. Kind of. We'll see. There was talk that it's, it was going to be a roller coaster originally. It's hard to tell really yeah. what it is. Um, I think the next surprise and delight of the night was that there will be a fourth Avengers attraction. Yeah, which is crazy. In, this space so it's called the stark flight lab yeah um it looks unlike anything else we've seen yeah it's like an arm like it and it looks like two people sit in it and it so the idea is you're like in tony, I, one of tony I'm stark's gonna... advanced factories mm -hmm. they're bringing back robert Downey jr to play tony stark it's like they're it's like they're experiencing the r d of something yeah, yeah you're so... gonna get through simulated adventures and every time you write it, it'll be a different It'll be experience. different. So that was... That's pretty cool. It's kind of like Star Wars. And exciting, yeah. In terms of different adventures. Yeah. So I I think that's kind That's of huge news. I mean, so you've already got Spider-Man there, which it does admittedly look weak sauce to me. We'll be writing that um, in a few weeks. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy and then these two new Avengers base rides, so... Yeah. Um, so let's talk about Disneyland. There's not a ton of news about no, Disneyland. I feel like the, the, the home... The home Walt's home kind of got shafted, I think, in this year's news. Well, there is a really cool thing that is happening. There is. But, okay, so they announced that the 70th anniversary starts in 2025. Of course it does. So we'll be selling that through about, celebrating that through about 2030. <laughs> <laughs> I Yeah, because we were there for the 60th? 65th. Yeah. 65th anniversary and 60th. I can't remember. I feel like they pushed that the entire time. It was like three LA. years. Yeah. Like, I, and was it awesome? Sure. But like, I, you get to a point, especially if it's your home park, that you're like, oh my gosh, this anniversary is lasting forever. Um, but the some of the artwork or some of the theming that they showed, um, some of the branding for this looks really cool. So. Um, it looks awesome. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's in. the first time but they've ever created But they didn't really tell us anything about the 70th anniversary stuff. Like, yeah. they didn't give us any... They didn't say there's any new entertainment or, you know, like, anything. So... Well, the bigger news... Um, the... Well, no. I'm even going to go small potatoes. Tiana's okay. Bayou got oh, an opening right. date. It is yeah. November 15th. We knew about that. It's, so, we knew it was going to come. So. We just didn't know when it was going to open. Within so. weeks. Mm. Yep. Um, but the exciting news, I think, is uh, they're doing a new... What is it? It's in the Opera House Theater. They are going to have their very first Walt Disney animatronic. Yeah, they're bringing him to life. Which is so cool. This should be amazing. He's going to walk through his kind of, you know, history it's, and his uh, how he came up. I think he's going to walk you through basically the, found, the origins of Disneyland, too. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. It's called A Magical Life. Because I think they said he'll be in his workshop through a lot of it. Um it sounds like ultimately in a few years, what it's going to be is basically a 20 minute air conditioned break on Main Street. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, that and it be. said that it was going to rotate between that and a Lincoln. So, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm, I can't wait though. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. I, they're, they're, what they're doing with the animatronics now is incredible. And um, I think it's a nice uh, ode to Walt. Mm -hmm. in there. Yep, I think it's awesome. That's um, is that kind of it for the Disneyland? We didn't get new hotel information. We didn't get this. You know, there's Anna. The city of Anaheim has been approving all these new. So they're doing uh, Disneyland rules. forward, and there's, there's no talk about no that. talk about it. But I mean, I think they're kind of saving that for 
the they, future. I don't think they figured it out. Yeah, I mean, I, I we already know that yeah. there's been a lot of reimagining in the downtown Disney area, yeah. which is exciting. Um, I really can't wait to see what that looks like in person. Yeah, Jim, I mean, Jim Fung and yeah, it's. Yeah. It, it looks awesome. It sounds awesome. So they've said they have room for a third gate. Some people were speculating we get third gate news. And and frankly, I'm glad we didn't because had we and then World didn't get a fifth gate, I would be. I don't really think Disneyland will get a third gate before we get a fifth gate. I, I don't know. It's, it's interesting to see. Well, I mean, we're all on this journey together, so yeah, we'll see. Speaking um, of going on journeys, yep. So let's just run through very quickly the other parks. Yeah. Yes. Or you want to hit... Well, I think the third piece of big news... Okay, you want to go for the third piece let's of big do it. news. Well, plus do I had to fit my journey motif. Okay, yep, do it. Disney Cruise Lines is... They're all in on the fleet. They're going to be building, what, four brand new ships? Four In addition more to ships the two to that the are fleet. already coming. Yep, so... So it's um, going to be a 14-ship fleet? 13. 13 13-ship ship fleet. fleet by 2031. That's bananas. It is. That's a lot of their... These are... These are you know, what, probably billion and a half, two billion dollar vessels. They're giants. Um, we have yet to go on a Disney Cruise Line ship. We're talking about doing the Destiny, though. I think we're going to do the Destiny. I'm trying, so, I'm trying to talk my way um, into a concierge level <laughs> room. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, you mentioned the Destiny. The Destiny is going to have a Hercules show. So, that was Oh, that was some news. That's yesterday. Right. Yeah. And then... Um, they did mention that there's a very cool 15 foot puppet in True. the Moana show yeah. on the treasure that will be sailing at that the end of this year. That looks awesome, by yep, the way. It does. It looks really cool. Looks neat. So, and then the other thing they suggested was these ships won't just be in like Port Canaveral. They suggested that they're going to spread them out geographically. So, um, maybe we'll I, see a Hawaii cruise. Maybe we'll see more Mediterranean cruises. I heard. Was it Japan? Japan's getting... They yeah, bought the ship. Singapore. Singapore's getting one. Yeah, so there's... there. It's going to be across the world. Yeah, yeah that's the, what he said. Mm -hmm. The mouse has taken over the global house. Mm -hmm. So, and then, yeah, let's run out with the, the other... I feel like the other parks really didn't have... They didn't have amazing a Amazing news. Like so here's did. just some, like, quick highlights. Disneyland Paris will get a new nighttime spectacular in January. Oh, they had one major piece of news. Um, I forgot about that. Mm, well, kind of two, because they are Frozen opens in that had 20, been announced, 2020. Though. Yes, yeah, in so. 2026, a Frozen Land land, I think, right? The whole land. A, a whole land yeah. will open, and it's in the newly named Adventure World. So it's They're, they Disney built this massive World. circular lake. Which they can expand on. Yes, and that lake is where this new nighttime spectacular will and speaking be. Speaking of expansion. It sounds a lot like an Epcot show to me with some drones. It does, yes. Like it's got, yeah, it's a, uh, yeah. I'm sure it'll be cool. The park needs some pyro, love. That's, that's yeah. typically known as the worst Disney park. I went to Disney Paris back when I was in college and I was back back here in Europe. I had free admission. I didn't even bother going in that park. That's how derided it was at the time. I spent all my time in, in, in the Disneyland Paris main park. And I've never been to Disneyland Paris. We'll get you there. So we'll get you there. We'll get there. Um, but this, here's another surprise and delight. Yes. There's going to be a Lion King attraction. Yeah. And they didn't call that a land either necessarily. No. But I felt like it might be quasi landish. Ish. Yeah. It should be. Definitely a big attraction. It, it, and it looks like Splash Mountain. Yeah. So, I mean, again, these are all, they did not say that they, that it is like Splash Mountain. Yeah, but like, I mean, it's a, it's a artwork, water, it's a water drop ride. Take a look at the artwork that I'm going to put up. Yeah. Um, the Magical McTees. Yeah. Um, oh, they said, and the, and the ride itself would track you from Simba's life as a, as a young lion to, to King. Yeah. So it basically re it retrace, it's basically telling the story of of, of the Simba's Lion King movie. Yeah, yeah, it sounds awesome. Yeah, the lion was in the caves of Pride. That's right. That sounds mm -hmm. awesome. That's, yeah, it sounds yeah, amazing. Do the cues, man. And I mean, so I think this year is the 30th anniversary of the Lion King. So it's, it, that's a fun way to celebrate yeah. it. Is it enough to get somebody who has never been to Paris on a plane by Me, himself? yes. Yeah? Me, yes. I think if you were on the fence about going to Disneyland Paris, this this will tilt you over. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's exciting. Um, for somebody of my age bracket, The Lion King is, like, I mean, that's childhood for me. Yeah. So, 
I'm excited. Um, all right, so then the other, there's only like three-ish pieces of news for the other parks. We've got Tokyo Disneyland will get a new show that debuts September 20th. It's called Reach for the Stars. Um, and then Shanghai Disneyland will get a Spider-Man coaster that looks similar to Guardians of the Galaxy in Epcot right now. And Hong Kong Disneyland will be getting a... The Spider-Man drop ride? It looks like a Spider-Man drop ride, doesn't yeah, they didn't, it? It looks kind of like with the details Tower of the Terror, Tower of Terror, yeah. or Guardians Mission Breakout in DC. Yeah, he's battling Doctor Octopus. Doc Ock, yeah. And it looked like there was a falling elevator between them. It did. He's um, driving it. So that's exciting. Um, they kind of they they had this big like section about Fortnite. Neither of us were interested or. Yeah, really we're not, we're not yeah, like, players. Yeah, so it is what it is. If you but, want that um, news, go seek it out. <laughs> yeah, we don't have it. I feel like I'm too old for that. I don't know. So <laughs> And we don't have kids. Is that going to do it? Is that the news? That's the roundup? I think that's the news. But, okay, so let's just talk about now that we have all this news, what were the things that we did surprise and delight throughout? Yeah. I'm disappointed with timelines. We have very few, like, hard, like, concrete timelines i feel like we should have gotten some more of that i'm forgiving of that i mean look these these things take a long time to build i think contractors are an issue especially in orlando right now as epic universe wraps up they'll become more available and they'll try and speed these along um i so hope so but it is what it is I, yeah I, so i'm disappointed with timelines i'm disappointed with uh wayfinding like where are these in the park in a lot of instances they didn't tell us yeah um and uh, anything that we did point out is just our either speculation or from looking at the artwork but you know what um, they'll tell us that news eventually and they will we can do another video we can talk about they will. The geography of, of Disney construction plans. It'll be mm -hmm. lovely. Because mm -hmm. I could talk about that all day. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but I'm... Look, the, the most exciting news here is villains. There's no doubt about it. I can't I wait. guess my, if I had I one tinge wait. of regret, it was that... Save that for a park. I would love an entire park based a on villains. A park of villains would be amazing. But I'll, I'll take because what I can get. I think mm -hmm. we all imagine that, like, the, the, the spoken wheel of that would, would be a... Yeah, the dark castle yeah. like which we saw in the artwork of this but yeah. it i feel like it's going to be more like the tangled tower comparatively it like it's awesome. not going to be like this a, big grand like you could do like the, you know, the villains the Im imperial empire land of star wars you could do like davy jones's ship land for a pirates that they, I mean, you could do scar and hyena area for a lion king land i mean there's just we could do so much with yeah. it um, but what, but we're excited that we're at least yeah. getting a land. No, I'm thrilled. I could, I'm beyond ecstatic. That was huge yeah. news. That was a big high five. Yeah. So, so I'm thrilled. I yeah. I'm. I was giddy last night. I'm uh, at the end. I was giddy because yeah. I I entered into this very. We were like, skeptical. I was cautiously optimistic, yeah. but I'm thrilled to say that there were some things that just. I hadn't heard any speculation about, and it's awesome that they're happening. There's a nice mix of news we kind of knew about getting fleshed out, and then some true surprises, so it was good stuff. Yeah, so it was great. Oh, well, that, I think that's going to do it. Um, we need to go get some breakfast. It's Sunday morning. We yep. got like, I don't know, what we, time did we... We were up way... We got like, like said, six and a I mean, half hours Y'all, we're people that go to bed at like 10 o'clock now. We are. Yeah, we're like the old couple on up at this point. It's fine. Um... Uh, so hey, look, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We've had a, a great month. We're adding a lot more subscribers than we have them in the past recently. We're up to uh, 360 something, 363, I think at last count. Yeah. So thank you so much. And, and by the way, we, we, we love that you're here. The we people hope. who subscribe are, are really make up a lot of our viewing time too. Yeah. So uh, we love that you're, you seem to be loving the content. The we hope you love the content. Uh, let us know what, what kind of, what you want us to do. We want to be receptive to the feedback we get. Yeah. Um, so go ahead, be vocal. Tell I know that we're like want. skewing heavy Disney, but we're theme park people. We were universally we're, yesterday. Yeah, we were. So, we and, were. And by the way, there's some new, we also are traveling. We, we had some Dominican Republic. There's some good Dominican Republic videos. Yep. We're going to Disneyland channel. in a couple weeks. Yep. Uh, we'll be staying at Portofino Bay. Oh um, yeah. Over weeks. at Universal. Yep. So we'll do for a whole, HHN. We'll be our first time staying there. Yeah. We, so. The reason we sprung for that was because it's under construction. So we and got, we can take Molly. We got a deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Yeah, that's so we have it. a lot of really mm-hmm. new and exciting content coming up. So yeah. we're gonna go to Houston for Christmas. If you wanted to travel to Houston, <laughs> you'll know, you'll get to learn all about that. It's got a great mall. Yeah, Houston Gallery. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Um, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Uh, we would love having you around. We're trying uh, to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Would be awesome. That would be awesome. But yeah. I that might be a help us out. We really that might be a lofty goal. Yeah, you can say you were here first. Be part of it. Where I think, I think, I think we're we're right there. We're on the cusp. We're, we're growing. Okay. Um. Anyways, until next time, you guys have fun storming the castle and stay magical.